So the theme of today's class is um, moving the diamond. And I had mentioned it uh, a couple days ago when I taught my first class. And I really felt like I wanted to get this on video because it is such an important uh, con uh, concept. So we all know about fascia by now, right? Everybody knows fascia is like this like, interesting netting that covers us. It's connective tissue, just like your tendons and your ligaments are connective tissue, your fascia is. And it kind of what holds you in place. And as you get older, uh, and you don't move as much, it gets stiffer. So they did this study about low back pain, and they uh, analyzed um, hundreds of people, and they found that they did MRIs, couldn't find anything low back. X-rays couldn't find any problems with their low back. So they started to theorize that they thought it might be the fascia in the low back that's so tight that's constricting and causing pain. So they put people into three different control groups. Two of the three control groups uh, did exercise as movement. And the other one-third of the control group did not have any exercise. So the second control group did gymnastics. So I have no idea what they did. I don't know if they did headstands, handstands, back handsprings. I don't know. But they did gymnastics. And the third control group did yoga. So at the end of the findings, they realized that the two people, the two groups that improved were the people who did the exercise. And so gymnastics and yoga were equal in terms of relieving low back pain. So they thought, OK, so this is interesting because yoga and the meditation and the breathing really wasn't as beneficial as what was in common, stretching. So now what we're going to do is we're going to all be aware of stretching the diamond shape of our fascia in our low back. And can everybody see this is a diamond? This is an anatomical drawing right here of your muscles and your fascia. And that truly is a diamond shape. And so the, the you know, purpose of the study was to say that this area gets very, very tight, very, very dense, not pliable, and can cause a lot of low back pain. Pulling on the muscles, pulling on the structure of the bones and things like that. So when we do movements, I want everyone to um, be aware of when we're stretching the diamond. And we're going to be doing specific movements to stretch into that diamond. And hopefully you can start to feel some of that looseness and, and the relief of that. Now we're going to start to stretch the diamond. This is where I really want you to pay attention to this movement. So we saw how the diamond is shaped, right? It's called the thoracic lumbar fascia because it starts at the thoracic spine right here in, on the top into the diamond and down at the bottom. So when we do cat-cow, we're stretching the top and the bottom of the diamond, right? So we're stretching and we're tugging and we're pulling at that. And when we hunch, we're making it long, 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 stretching it. And see if you can feel that. Feel how you're stretching that area. As much as you can take a nice uh, hunch to the low back, you're going to get a little deeper there. Good. And now in order to get the side of the diamond, that's the harder one. Okay, so there's just a couple of movements that really gets the side, and these are the important ones for low back pain. We're going to take the left shoulder towards the right knee. So everybody do that. Now once you, do you feel that stretch? Right? It's on the back side of your left hip. Then you're going to swoop in the front. Your shoulders are going to squeeze together. Your heart is open. And then you're going to crisscross the other way. So it's right shoulder over towards the left knee. So you're rolling that shoulder forward and stretching the back of your hip. And then you're going to tuck back. So you're going to tuck your chin, round your shoulders a little bit. So we're going to stretch the diamonds up and down. And then we're going to crisscross again. So you can kind of go into four points. If you can kind of think about that diamond, we're hitting those four points when we're doing that. And then once you kind of feel that, you want to go into a circle. So this is called stirring the pot. And I love that analogy because if you really want to get all the edges of this, the pot, you've got to go slow and wide, wide around the edges. And if you get some tight spots, oh yeah, that's what you want to feel, the tight spots. And maybe if you want to, you can stop there and just feel it like, oh, okay, I feel that. I'm taking a breath in there. And continue with the circle one more time. Good. And then just go the other way. So remember, slow is always better. If it ever feels good to close your eyes and you feel stable with your eyes closed, feel free to do that because it gives you a little bit more of that inward awareness. So you just really want to feel like you're stretching all that diamond and all of its little points and all of its little angles. Good. And last circle. And when you come back to the center, let's do a couple cat cows here. So we're going to go up like that and then down like that. And up like that, 
You really feel that, huh? Did that feel good? Everybody feel the diamond stretch on that one? Really important. So these things are easy for you to do every single day. It's going to make your low back feel so much better. So here's the other one. Here's the other one that gets the side of the diamonds. Because getting the top and the, and the bottom of the diamond is easy. We do that a lot with our cat cows. But the sides of the diamond are a little more challenging. Uh, right hand down, left hand reaches across. It's that same idea of reaching across, but now it's a circle. So you take a big circle and you get your shoulder to move. And feel free to move, you know, bend the elbow. You're going to run into that left knee undoubtedly, but don't worry about that. The movement is that long stretch across the left side of your hip, that edge of your diamond. Good. And then we'll come back up, and then it'll be the left hand down. The right arm reaches across to get that stretch. You know exactly what that stretch feels like now. And then you massage into it with the circle. Right, so any movement like this creates circulation, and that's what we want to do. We want to loosen up that fascia. We want to lubricate it. Good. And when you come back, we're going to come all the way back, and then we're going to do a couple cat cows because that's going to get both sides equal again. So cat cow like this, cat cow like that. Good. And one more time. Good. And then when you come back to the center, let's walk our feet back to neutral. Okay. Sit back, close your eyes just for a moment. Maybe you feel a little bit more warmth or looseness back there. I just want you to notice.